All right, today we're going to look at logarithmic differentiation. I had the three steps here for what you need to do to do this tactic. And these questions aren't necessarily long, but when you're done, they can look extremely long. So I'm going to start out here by actually giving you an, an equation. So we have y is equal to x squared plus 2 squared times x to the fourth plus 4 all to the fourth power. And if you were just to differentiate it like this, there's a lot of stuff. There's power rules, chain rules, you're going to get a big long equation. But what we can do is we can apply these three steps to make it even quicker. So, take the natural log of both sides. Okay, let's do that. Take the log of y is equal to the ln of this whole big thing here, x squared plus 2 all squared multiplied by x to the fourth plus 4 all to the 4. Okay, now we're going to apply our logarithm laws to simplify the expression. Okay, so ln of y is taken care of. And we know because we are multiplying two things inside of a log, we can split that up and add them. So we have log of x squared plus 2 squared plus natural log of x to the fourth plus 4, all to the 4. In fact, we can apply another log rule here. If you remember with exponents, you can bring the exponent down. So bring these exponents down. So now we have 2 times the natural log of x squared plus 2 plus 4 times the natural log of x to the fourth plus 4. And now we can differentiate implicitly. So what happens in this case? Well, if we take the natural log of both sides, we get 1 over y, since that's the log of y, times y prime. The right side we get 2 times 1 over x squared plus 2, multiplied by the inside, which is 2x, plus 4 times 1 over x to the 4 plus 4, multiplied by the derivative of x to the 4 plus 4, which is 4x cubed. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. So we have y prime over y is equal to 4x over x squared plus 2 plus 16x cubed over x to the 4th plus 4. Again, we're just simplifying. And now we have this expression where to get y prime, we simply just bring y up to the other side. So y times uh, this whole shenanigans here, which again, I won't speak, but I'll distract you by saying words while I write it out quickly for myself. Okay, so now the question is, we have this y here, but what is y? Well, we know what y is, because this was our first expression. So y is equal to x squared plus 2 squared times x to the 4 plus 4 to the 4th. So that's a bit of a mouthful. So we can rewrite this as y prime is equal to x squared plus 2 all squared times x to the 4th plus 4 all to the 4th multiplied by this uh, other thing you just figured out, which again, I will take some time to talk over it while I write it to make it sound like I'm not trying to take up time. Okay, and this is the answer to your question. Yeah, it's a huge answer, and it's much better to do this than to do some crazy thing where you have power rules and chain rules, especially when some of these derivatives have like six or seven terms. Maybe it's e to the x times log base a of 15x squared multiplied by the root of x squared plus 1 all divided by sine x times, you know, it can get really crazy. So I'm going to give you guys a really short one, and you can do it as your practice. So it's my lovely handwriting that says practice. y is equal to x to the x. Now find the derivative of this, and I'll be back in a second. All right, hopefully that wasn't too bad. So again, step one, we take the natural log of both sides. So ln y is equal to ln x to the x. We now use our rules to make these a little bit simpler. So this is log of y is equal to x ln x. Now we implicitly differentiate both sides. So we have one over y times y prime is equal to 
Well, now we have to use the the power rule here. So or the product rule, sorry. Now we have x times the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, plus 1 times ln x. So this is 1 plus ln x, uh, y prime over y. So now what we can do is we can bring y over to the right side here. So y prime is equal to y times 1 plus ln x. And if you remember, uh, y is equal to x to the x. So this is x to the x times 1 plus ln x. And that is the derivative of x to the x. So as you can see, it's faster. And if I were to just give you and say, what is the derivative of x to the x? You would have no idea how to do this because we only have derivative rules for a to the x and x to the a. And that's all we have. We don't have rules that say what x to the x is. Although we kind of do now because we just derived it, but without logarithmic differentiation, we wouldn't know what to do here because we need the natural log to separate these variables in this step in order to give us something that we can work with. So these types of problems are what motivated logarithmic differentiation. It's really cool to see that this works, but this skill is very powerful for, like I said before, very complex derivatives. And in my derivative review video that comes up soon, I will definitely be showcasing one of those types of derivatives for you guys so you can see just how valuable logarithmic differentiation is.